Praise the Lord, saints. Welcome to another Bible study here at Friendship Mission Church for the Homeless and the Poor here in Montgomery, Alabama. Pastor and founder, Vince Rosado. My name is Minister Warren Rudd. And tonight's Bible study, you know God, when he calls you out of something, he never wants you to go back to it. So tonight's sermon, we're going to be talking about I'm going fishing. When you decide to go back to what God called you out of, you're going back to your old ways, your old condition, and your old sin. So tonight, just get your Bible, get your paper and your pen, and sit back and get ready for a mighty word from God. And as I always say, there you go, right there. Mm-hmm. God bless. Prayer. Amen. Thank you, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus for the word. I pray that it be edifying, correcting, and building up of the men and women of God. And I pray that now this room is turned into a sanctuary and not just a place of eating, not just a place of conversation. Now it's time to hear what thus says the Lord. And if everybody agree with me, I say amen in Jesus' name. Amen. Take the book of John. I've been gone for a while, but I'm happy to be back, as usual. Friendship always has a heart. Always in my heart. Amen. Amen. And we're going to start at the first four verses. John 21, starting at verse 1. It says, After these things, Jesus showed himself again to the disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. And on this wise showed he himself. There were together Simon, Peter, and Thomas called Didymus and Nathaniel, and uh, Canaan of Galilee, and the sons of Zebedee, and two other of his disciples. <clears throat> Simon Peter said unto them, I go a fishing. Amen. They said unto him, We also go with thee. They went forth and entered into a ship immediately, and that night they caught nothing. That night they caught nothing. But when the morning was now come, Jesus stood on the shore, but the disciples knew not it was Jesus. The disciples knew not that it was Jesus. They didn't recognize him. Amen? My sermon today is going to be, I'm going fishing. Amen? Amen. I'm going fishing. Now, this occurred after the resurrection of Christ when the disciples were hiding out in fear and doubt. And Jesus walking through the walls of their oppression and depression, removing fear and doubt by forgiving, comforting, and encouraging them. But we can all act like we are delivered when his presence is there. But when he leaves, how do we act? When his presence leaves, how do we act? We go to church every Sunday. We say the presence of God is in there. Then we leave on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we act like a buck wild fool. So we act like we delivered when we say the presence. But when we leave, how do we act? When you leave friendship, how do we act? You hear this word, but when you leave, how do you act? Amen. Amen. Matter of fact, let's take a look at what he did. Go to John 20, so you can see what I was talking about, that they saw him. See, one of the things you got to understand is Jesus calls you out of something, he never meant for you to go back to it. If, he, if you were in an occupation, he never meant for you to go back to it. If Jesus delivered you from something, he never meant for you to go back to it. Amen? Amen. 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 Now, when I was talking about, so you got to understand something, they had already seen Jesus resurrect from the dead. They had already recognized that Jesus is risen. We celebrated called Easter. But what did Peter do? Peter said, I'm going fishing. He's the leader. So, whatever the leader do, the followers going to do what? Oh, they went right behind. <laughs> Amen. But watch what he delivered them from in, in uh, John 20. And we can look at it, verse 14. John 20. And he said, And when she had thus said unto him, and turned herself back, and saw Jesus standing, and knew not that it was Jesus. See? Jesus said unto her, Woman, why weepest thou? Whom seeketh thou? 
she supposing him to be a gardener, said unto him, Sir, if thou hast borne him hence, tell me where thou hast laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said unto Mary, turn. She turned herself and said unto him, Rabbi, and which is to say, Master. Jesus said to her, Touch me not, for I am not yet ascended unto my father, but go to my brothers and say unto them, I ascend unto my father and your father, and go to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene came and told the disciples that she had seen the Lord and that he had spoken these things unto her. Then the same day at evening, being the first day of the week, when the doors were what? Shut. Where the disciples were assembled for what? Fear of the Jews. Amen. Came Jesus and stood in the midst of them and said unto them, Peace be unto you. So what did he deliver immediately? Fear. What did he bring them out of? Fear. They were hiding out. But he walked through the doors. Why? Because he had on his glorified body. The same body we won't get when we go to heaven. Hello? Amen. This body can't walk through wall. If I try to walk through that door without opening it up, I'm going to bump my head. But he had on an incorruptible body and can walk through it. Verse 20. And when he had said so, it showed unto him his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they had saw the Lord. Then said Jesus unto them, Peace be unto you, as my Father said unto me, even so I say unto you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said unto you, Receive ye the Holy Ghost. I don't know that. <laughs> Verse 23. And whatsoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them, and whosoever sins you retain, they are retained. But Thomas, one of the twelve, called Didymus, and Didymus means a twin unto him, was not with them when Jesus came. And the other disciples therefore said unto him, We have seen the Lord. But he said unto them, Except I shall see in his hands the print of the nails, and put my finger in the print of the nails, and thrust my hand in the side, I ain't believe him. Sound like he needed some proof. <laughs> Amen. Verse 26. And after eight days, eight is always a representation of new beginnings. After this new beginning, and again his disciples were with him, and Thomas with them. Then Jesus came in the doors, what? Being shut. He came a second time. What do we usually call Thomas? Doubt I mean, Thomas. Doubt Thomas. Doubt Thomas. Mm. So, if the doors were being shut, he walked through there, and he walked through there and stood in the midst and said, Peace be unto you. Verse 27. Then said he to Thomas, Reach hither thy finger, and behold thy hand, and reach hither thy hand, and thrust it into my side. And be not what? Faithful, Faithful. but believing. And Thomas answered and said unto him, my Lord and my God. First one that got that. Don't sound like it's too much of a doubt anymore. But he had to have a bunch of proof, didn't he? See, I don't like to call him Daddy Thomas no more because he was just like me. Show me. And Jesus said, put it in here. Here it is, Thomas. But watch what he tells Thomas next. Verse 29. Jesus said unto him, Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou hast believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet have believed. Blessed are they who have not seen. Hello? Is there anybody in this room? Amen. How many of you have seen Jesus? But how many of you believe in Jesus? Amen. Amen. So that means you're blessed. Yeah. Hello? And many other signs truly did Jesus did in the presence of his disciples, which are not written in this book. But these are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ and the Son of God, and that believing you might have life through his name. Amen? Amen. But I wanted you to see that he had risen and came through them doors two times before Peter said, I'm going fishing. Right. Didn't he have enough proof that Jesus had risen? So if Jesus called you out of something, you have no business going back. Amen. 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 If you knew it was God that said, I delivered you, you didn't do it on your own. Why are you going back to your own occupation? Well, Amen. Amen. And then, here's the biggest problem. It would have been okay if Peter would went by himself. But he took others with him. Mm. Mm. Go go up to uh, Matthew 4, real quick. Go to Matthew 4. I want to show you something before we continue on. God has changed it. Boy, I, boy, I had it all mapped out before I came here. <laughs> I just love you, Jesus. Go to Matthew 4. Had it all mapped out. Boy, I'm coming in, tear it up. And now I'm changing. Amen. Look at verse 18 and 20 in Matthew 4. And it says, and Jesus walking by the sea of Galilee saw what? Two brothers, Simon, called Peter, and Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, for they were what? Fishers. And he said unto them, follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me. Drop your occupation. Stop what you're doing and follow me. 
and I will make you what? Fishers of men. Amen. Verse 20. And they straight away left their nets and followed him. They gave it up. Yes, Lord. With no hesitation about it. <clears throat> when Jesus called you and said, I want you to be my child, accept me as Lord and said, You say, Yes, Lord. Without any problem. And half the folk that walk up to the altar every Sunday or during the week, they go right back home out on Monday and forgot they followed Jesus. Yeah, it is funny. Because it's fleshly. Amen. But does he still love you? You better know it. I'm going to show you just how much in a minute. Go back to John 21. John 21. Go back to John 21. That's our golden text. As they say in the church. It's our golden text. Now I want you to see some things that really blew my mind in this. Let's look at, let's go down to verse 7 now. And look at verse 7 and 8. And it says, Therefore the disciples whom Jesus loved said unto him, Peter, it is the Lord. Now when Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he girded his fisher's coat unto him, for he was what? Naked. Pay attention to that. And did cast himself into the sea. And the other disciples came in little ships. They, oh, my goodness. Pay attention to little ships. They came in little ships, for they were not far from the land, but as it were, 200 cubits, dragging the net with fish. Dragging the net with fish. Why am I bringing this out? I'm going fishing is a person who thought he was delivered. <laughs> is a person who thought he was delivered. Amen. Because of the level he thinks he is at in Jesus. Just to find out that he's not delivered at all. So instead of him dealing with it himself, he takes others with him. Remember what I said when Peter said, I'm going fishing. He took other people with him. I'm following the leader. I'm going back to where? I'm going back to my old occupation. Amen. I'm going fishing as you going back to your old man, your old condition, and your old sin. While in this condition, watch this. While you're in this condition, Others will follow you in your condition. <clears throat> How many people have you talked to me going to go do your thing? Hmm, it's going to be fun tonight. Baby, come on with me. I got the buck. Amen. Come on, brother. I got something to give you. Come on with me. How have you followed in your own condition? Amen. And watch what else is happening when you decide to go fishing in your own ways, your own condition, and your sin. You can't catch nothing. Remember the scripture said they caught nothing. So when you go back to what Jesus called you out of, you ain't catching nothing. Your old job ain't gonna work for you no more. Hello. <laughs> Next thing, we can't recognize Jesus when he appears to us. He didn't see Jesus. Jesus on the shore cooking fish for him. We'll see that in a minute. Peter couldn't see him. But who saw him? John. Amen. We have to be told by someone else who Jesus is. Now who told Peter to go Jesus? That was John. John said, they go Jesus. And then the scripture said when we just read that Peter recognized him then and said, I'm naked. Oh, I'm getting ready to get there in a minute. You will be naked when you see him just like Adam who told you he was naked. Amen. Who told you? That's what Jesus will look at. Who told you you was naked? I got to gird myself back to the Lord. Who told you you was naked? All right, you had no inkling of your condition until you went back to your old sin, your old ways, and your old condition. Amen. Hello. Amen. Amen. Go to uh, verse 14 of the same 
chapter John. Ready? What are y'all looking at me with, with these eyeballs? I love it though. Amen. Let's look at verse 14. Now, this is now the third time that Jesus showed himself. See that? Three times Jesus showed up. This is the third time Jesus showed himself to his disciples after that he was what? Risen from the dead. Now, why would you want to go back and you done seen the Lord raised from the dead three times? Well, our sinful nature, ain't it something? We make an excuse to do anything, don't we? Good God of my Verse 15. So when they had dined, Jesus said unto Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me more than these? Do you love me? Hello. Amen. He said unto them, yes, Lord. Now, see, I got to put a little drama on it because I, I have a picture in my head. I draw the whole, I make a film in my head on how the situation is going. So he said, yes, Lord. You know that I love you. He said unto them, feed my lambs. Verse 16, he said to him again, the second time, Simon, 